In this video, I'll show you how to create a vCard QR code for free. So basically, vCard QR code works like this. You scan a QR code and then it prompts you to add the details to your phone's contacts. As you can see, you can include things like um, name, phone, number, email, company information, and so on. Hello <laughs> to the people. My name is Robert and I help creators with the technical aspects of their business. To get started, head to Google and type qrcodecactus.com or just click on the first link in the video description down below. You can just head to this page and this is the QR code cactus generator. So you get, it can generate QR codes here and notice here, where is it here? V card, just click on that. And now let's choose the 4.0, that's the latest one. So now you can fill in the details with your information. So for example, you could give it a name, a last name, you can add your phone number, website, and so on. So let me do that and uh, I'll come back in a sec. Okay, I've updated my details here and you can see that you can actually add quite a lot of stuff here, even your postcode city and so on. We can now design this. I'm not gonna actually do too much to it. You can see that you can change colors here. You can also have uh, change the pattern design. So this is the way these little blocks show up. But especially with vCard, I would be really careful not to use uh, the other patterns except this one and this one, because the more information you add to a QR code, the smaller the little boxes get and the harder it is for your phone to scan it. So, uh, and I'll show you in a second how, can you, how you can test that. But let's say I'm okay with this uh, format because people recognize it, but I do want to have my logo there. So I could now come here and just upload a logo. Here you go. I'll just add this cactus. And now you can see it shows up there. And then we have also frames. So if you want to put it in a frame, you can add it. Again, uh, the frames also make the QR code slightly smaller. So for now, I'll just keep it as is here. But obviously, you can choose one of these. Just test it out before. Now comes the most important thing is to save this. And then we need to actually generate it. So let's click here on PNG and it's going to download a file here. So if I open this file, remember when testing out, <laughs> this QR code will not be this big uh, when somebody's scanning it. So if it's on your business card or maybe somewhere else, just think what is the actual size of that QR code. I would say it's going to be something like this, maybe even smaller. So if I just put here, if it's on a business card, maybe it's going to be something like this. So when I try to scan this, you can see that my phone is actually struggling. It's a little dark here in my room right now, but it's not able to detect it. So what I need to do is actually make it a little bit bigger here. So I'm selecting, you see, I'm selecting a little bit bigger. And now, now it detects that this is actually a QR code and it's a V card. But if you're printing this QR code on something small, I have a workaround and I'll show you uh, what I mean in just a second. Let me just finish uh, scanning this QR code. Now you can see that here, all the details we added before are also here. So you could also consider here, do you actually need to add as much information? Like for example, your address and things like that, just to make those little blocks a little bit bigger and you're able to scan easier. So I think a lot of people kind of miss out on this one and they make it too small or they add too many details and then it's actually really hard to scan that QR code. And by the way, I created this generator because I thought that other tools online were too confusing and misleading people into the paid subscription when they didn't really need, need those features. So if you're using this tool right here that you see on this homepage and don't log in, this is totally free and it will last forever. That said, keep in mind that the free vCard QR code has fixed information. So if your details change, you will need to regenerate and reprint the QR code. Obviously, this is a lot of hassle. So that's why businesses that want to save time choose to use dynamic vCards, which allow you to update your contact details without reprinting or redistributing the QR codes itself. So you don't need to recreate the QR code. You can just change the information behind it. This means if your phone number changes, you get a promotion or switch companies, you can instantly update the information while keeping the same physical QR code. So you don't need to reprint it. Now, this is a paid feature, but it saves a lot of time and headache. And also there's the added benefit that usually 
actually dynamic QR codes are easier to scan, especially if you put them on small sizes like, uh, I don't know, business cards or something. And on top of that, with the dynamic QR codes, you are able to track how many scans your vCard is getting. These are kind of the biggest reasons businesses choose to go with dynamic QR codes. And just to show you how the vCard Plus works, so that's the paid version, and here I have my QR code. Again, I've set it to 6% here, so it's really small. It's actually, I think it's even smaller at 6% than the previous image. But when I scan this, you see it's able to detect it even though it's much smaller than before. This is one of the benefits of using the vCard Plus. And not only that, you also get this mini website where basically you can add more details, you can add a picture of yourself. And once people go through this, they can easily add you to their contacts by tapping on this button. And now you can see that they're just adding the same information here, but the format is different. And there's actually even a, a, a picture that you can attach to. So pretty cool. If this sounds good to you and you're interested, then check out QR Code Cactus Pro. You can start with the free trial and see if you like it. The link is in the video description. Now you know how to create a vCard QR code. And if you need help with setting up your dynamic QR codes without wasting any time or money, you should watch this video right here, where I'll show you how to use QR Code Cactus to create and manage your QR codes.